if there's one thing 2020 has taught us, our health, the health of humanity, is really inextricably linked to the health of nature. Look, virtually every pandemic, every epidemic we know of has really jumped into humans from nature. And you can think about you know, nature really like a human body. As things get out of whack, as things get degraded, as the air gets more polluted, as the water gets more polluted, as watersheds get destroyed, as forests get cut down, as oceans get plundered, as soils get stripped, the planet gets sicker. Ultimately, that affects all living species on the planet, including, of course, humans. When you think about tropical deforestation in particular, it just increases dramatically the probability that people will come into contact with stressed out animal populations. And those stressed out animal populations are the prime vector by which uh, epidemics, zoonotics, diseases that exist in wildlife, often at very low uh, levels, can jump into humans. And then you couple that with massive air travel, our ability to go anywhere and to create very large global markets, and you can see how pandemics can quickly spread and threaten everything that we hold dear. Now, what can we do about it? So it turns out that uh, some of our scientists at Conservation International published a really great study recently that showed that if you invest in basically three things, in ending deforestation, particularly tropical deforestation, in focusing on global wildlife trades, in ending illegal global wildlife trades, but also managing the legal parts of the wildlife trade, and then quickly identifying and isolating uh, diseases when they jump from humans into wildlife populations. If we just did those three things, we could reduce the chance of the next pandemic by over 40%. Another way to put it is if we spent money on doing just those three things and did that for 10 years, it would still be 10 to 20 times less than the cost of COVID-19 so far. So if you think about how best to spend global resources, this is an absolute no-brainer. Keeping our planet healthy, protecting nature, ending deforestation, focusing on global wildlife trade is really ultimately about keeping us, all of us, healthy.